Road trips are a perfect time for teammates to bond and do things together outside of our homes. We hit the road in February. We'll head out west a lot, which is great. You get to experience so many different cities. That's a luxury to have that. You can't fly on game days. You know, we play a game at 7 o'clock. You know, we don't get done until like 10.30. After the game, you just know you got to get ready. I pack light. You know, I hate packing a lot of stuff because then you got to carry it. Get a little food on the plane. The guys usually are... You know, watching movies, reading books, hanging out, hop off the plane, boom, right to the hotel. There's many times during the year where I wake up and I'm just like, okay, what, what city am I in? What's my room number? I woke up in Milwaukee and I thought I was in Cleveland. There's definitely those times where you have no idea where you're at because you play 40-some road games. Back-to-backs -back obviously are difficult. You know you're going to be tired. You're going to have to push through that fatigue or that soreness and lack of time for recovery. Try to get as much rest as possible, hydrate a lot. The games keep coming and you got to know that your opponent is hurting just as bad as you are. It just becomes a game of who wants it more. If it's a back-to-back -back game, of course, you want to jump on teams early because they probably had a tough travel schedule or they're coming off five games in seven days, you want to take advantage of that. You see so many games during the year where a team that has no business winning a game wins the game just off their heart or how hard they play. It's a marathon and you just gotta persevere.